Hello Booktube. This is uh, 12 Days of Litmus, Day 10, my favorite nonfiction writer. This um, project was created by Adrian over at Stripped Cover Lit, and uh, we're getting close, close to the end of this thing. So, my favorite nonfiction writer you would think would be a difficult choice. I primarily read uh, nonfiction, or I have for the last few decades. I'm trying to switch it up a little bit and expand into fiction more. But for me, it was actually a fairly easy choice. And the choice is Samuel Eliot Morrison, um, an American historian and an accomplished sailor. And that's important. Um, it, it informs his, um, his work. And he lived through World War II where he was an admiral as a historian. And he wrote a massive series on the naval war, World War II in the United States. And I do not have that, although I have a condensed version of that, which is good. So this is a sailor historian, the best of Samuel Eliot Morrison. And this was edited by Emily Morrison Beck. And it's um, with a forward by Walter Muir Whitehall, Whitehill, excuse me, and some reflections on style by David McCord, Houghton Mifflin Company, Boston, 1977. And um, so it's a compilation of some of his best writing. And like I say, I have quite a few books here, but I have nowhere near what the output was that uh, that he produced during a lifetime. Um, another connection, he's a Boston guy, but another connection is much of my life's been spent in Maine. And probably equal parts Maine and Vermont. And that was growing up and as an adult. Sort of a back and forth thing. We're not very far from there anyway. And we lived not far from uh, Bar Harbor and Mount Desert and Acadia National Park. And that was the second home for Samuel A. Morrison. In fact, he wrote a wonderful book about Bar Harbor and Mount Desert Island. And uh, I do not have it. And I think I've had it like five different times. But in any case, in this volume, let's see if they have a, they have a table of contents that will help us out here. They do, they must. Yes, they do. So they have a section after all the introductions and the notes and the, that sort of thing. You have a section on the discovery of America, about which he wrote several important books. One on voyages and sea battles, studies in American history, American life, history, the craft, and reminiscences and uh, adventures. And... Um, in a textbook style, what we have here, a very famous book it is. This is from Oxford, The Oxford History of the American People. I do not have one with a dust jacket. It's a very solid piece of work here. Uh, it's from New York, Oxford University Press, 1965. And obviously it would, uh, would not go beyond those dates. So a lot has happened since. But... Uh, Still a wonderful, wonderful book. And then these next two volumes compete as among the favorite for me. And I spent a lot of time at sea, so I, I, that's one of the aspect of his, his work that I admire because he went out and looked at things or sailed ships or did things to inform his historical research. And these two volumes are an example of that. And they're they're uh, related volumes. The first here is The European Discovery of America, The Northern Voyages, Samuel Eliot Morrison. Um, AD 500 to 1600. New York, Oxford University Press, 1971. Let's see if I can find some examples here. So here you have him taking photographs while he visits areas that become part of this story of exploration. And then there's a companion to it, 
You have the European discovery of America, the Southern Voyages, 1492 to 1616. There they are. Him and his wife looking at a chart while they're flying. And this was New York, Oxford University Press, 1974. Wonderful, wonderful books. Then, you have a biography of Samuel D. Champlain, Father of New France. papers they have a little less glare Atlantic Monthly uh, press book Little Brown and Company Boston and Toronto and this came out in uh, it's the first edition of 1972 another biography he did that I really liked was I think it was called Old Bruin um, about Commodore Perry in uh, Japan. Um, and I know he's done one on John Paul Jones, I think I read years and years ago, that I also don't have. So when I go to Steve Con, uh, I'm going to hit the brattle. I'm sure they have most of that stuff. Then we have the, the short history of the United States Navy in the Second World War. Remember I said he had done a big, large shelf full of books. This is a condensed version of that, and it's a beautiful copy. The Two Ocean War, The Short History of the United States Navy in the Second World War. You have Admiral Ernest J. King in the frontispiece. So this is an Atlantic Monthly Press book, Little Brown and Company, Boston, Toronto, and this came out in 1963. This is, it has these maps, so let me see if I can do this without causing any damage. So I picked the toughest one to do, of course. Okay, there we go, okay. So, you can follow along, and I do, because there's one thing I love almost as much as books, and that's charts and maps. So, great, great, great book here. And then, before I get to the final fancy version, so I've got one here that probably wouldn't be for everybody. I loved it. It's a short little history called The Rope Makers of Plymouth, A History of the Plymouth uh, Cordage Company, 1824 to 1949. And there he is. And this uh, is Houghton Mifflin, Boston, uh, Riverside Press, Cambridge, 1950. I also did another small book. I never owned a copy. Uh, maybe they listed it in here. I never owned a copy, but um, absolutely loved. I actually got it through Interlibrary Loan to read it. It was, um, let me see if they have it. Portuguese Voyages to America Before 1500. So if I ever run into that one, I'll grab it too. So then, make sure I do these in order. Because they all have a similar look, and I've shown them on this channel before. The first one here is The Life and Voyages of Christopher Columbus by Samuel Elliott Morrison. Journals and other documents on the life and voyages of Christopher Columbus. Translated and edited by Samuel Elliott Morrison. Illustrated by Lima de Freitas. Special 500th Anniversary Edition. Bound in general leather. The Eastern Press, Norwalk, uh, Connecticut. So it has these. Beautiful maps. Um, so there are documents from that he used to write his great biography of Columbus. And I absolutely love these books. And these were a present from my mother. Not for, but from. And this work um, informed, among others, um, let me do it this way, Admiral of the Ocean Sea, A Life of Christopher Columbus, Volume 1 and Volume 2, Samuel Elliott Morrison. And that's uh, Maps by Erwin Reese, Drawings by Bertram Green, Introduction by William F. Buckley, Jr., 
<clears throat> so uh, that's Eastern Press, Norwalk, Connecticut. So the special, th these came out originally in 1942, but the uh, special contents and all that's 91, so that's when Eastern Press did it. And I very highly recommend these volumes. Sort of hard to do without ripping it, and I do not want to rip it. And then the volume two is this, it's the same. I mean, they've got the end papers, and they've got the uh, silk ribbon marker here, and the great maps. So, this was. Um, my favorite nonfiction author, Samuel Elliott Morrison. Um, I have a few examples. Um, I'd like to build up the collection a little more in the future. Uh, the full World War II set, that, that won't happen. It's just too many volumes to ever be fortunate enough to find all together that I could afford. But if there's occasional volumes around, even if they're out of sequence, I'll pick them up. Um, so... Thank you, Adrian. It's Strip Cover Lit. This has been a great deal of fun, and uh, thank you, Book Two.